I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. That's B-E-X-X -X with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you for joining me today. I am doing, showing you what I did for hashtag stamp play. That's hashtag stamp play. It's an open collaboration hosted by Susan's Heartstrings. It's where you can share your stamping any day, any time. You can share a new stamp, something you've created, something you've made, stamps that you've colored, or any stamping tips. And I will link Susan's video in the description box below so you can see what it's all about. But again, this is hashtag stamp play, an open collaboration hosted by Susan's Heartstrings. Thank you, Susan, for hosting. And I used a lot of stamps. I just got out all my stamps that I like to use and made some creepy things. So I'm just gonna show you real quick all my stamps and then my inks and then I'll show you what I made. I used my music stamp, my little creepy house, my branches, which you can also, if you um, mask off a little bit of it, and use a yellow um, ink. You can use it as a lightning bolt. You can use any um, branch as a lightning bolt. Just a little tip there. And let's see, I used those three. And I used this one. This is, not sure where this is from. Really not sure, I don't remember. Thinking Oriental Trading Company. I could be really wrong. It's been a few years. But it is the spider web, and there's the spider right there. And I also used my Stampin' Up! platform. It's stamping up that way. Anyway, you know what it is. And I used my Harlequin stamp. Let me put these away for the moment. Let's get into some more. And I use this little stamp. And I'm pretty sure that is from Stampin' Up! But I cannot find the stamp set that it goes to. I may have given it away. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's Stampin' Up! And then this little feather. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But you'll see it on my project. That little feather is really cute. That is from the Oriental Trading Company. A few years back. And I used my... Journal block. And I use my other spider web stamp from Timu. I don't clean it regularly. It doesn't matter because I will just get another one. It's not a big deal, but I really like it. And I use it a lot with permanent ink, so it doesn't really come off. Not too concerned about that at all. And I used my creepy words, which these sentiments creepy words, creepy sentiments, I mean. You can take them all off, use them separately, but I've just left it on here and used it as a whole stamp. And I purchased another one of these. They're from Timu. It's like, not very expensive at all. They're from Timu, but they have some awesome sayings on a strange thing happened, the dark and haunted room, in the middle of the night, look a bit frightened. Yes. So I purchased, I used this one for like a background stamp, and then I used the other one if I want the sentiments separately or you can also stamp the whole thing. Let me see, like I did my other project. Bear with me just a moment. And I stamped them on a piece of tea dyed or coffee dyed or coffee stain, tea stain, however you like to say it, paper. And then I just cut them out as I need them. You can also do that. That's a little tip I'm sure everyone knows. Sometimes you just forget about these simple little things. And I also used this little cauldron. And it came with this stamp set. This is the one that I purchased from Oriental Trading Company. Probably in 2018. It's been a long time. But some really great stamps. There it is right there. There's the little cauldron I used. There's the feather stamp I'm using. And I believe all of the odd um, spider webs that I have came from that same stamp set. Just one whole stamp set. 
and I used, of course, my skull. This is from Timu. And I also use this little tree. Not quite sure where that one came from. And I used my Stampin' Up, my all-time favorite lace stamp. Southern Serenade Stampin' Up. This is from way back when, too. And the last one, I believe, used, it's a very vintage host set, I believe. And I used this right here, the vintage rose look. Looks really creepy, different colors that you do it in, but I really like it. So those are all the stamps I used. And lots and lots of fun. Let me show you the inks I used. I used the Distress Ranger Archival The Permanent Ground Espresso. It looks really creepy. And then I used the Black Soot. It's really creepy, of course. Black can be creepy, creepy. Let's put these aside. Then I also used, on one of them, I used Aged Mahogany. You'll see the lace. It looks like bloody lace with this. And I also use the Villainous Potion Timbal's Distress Ink. It's really beautiful. This is what I made. I'll turn this over so you can see it better. But I did a bunch of postcards. I cut them out of uh, my... Let's see, I'm not sure which um, pad they're from because they're from a couple of different ones from Joann's. But I'll link the video to where I got cut these out of. I'll link those two videos or that one video in the description box also along with uh, Susan Hartstring's video so you can hear all about hashtag stamp play. So these... Um, I cut off this piece because there was another one that was connected to it. So, this is the one side. These are all the same, but I just stamped my Harlequin on the other side of this, and this is just the offset. And then I just inked around it. So, they're all stamped in a different spot. And then I turn it over, and here is what I did with the creepy house. And the spider web stamp, there's the Harlequin stamp in purple, and there is the tree branch. I moved this way to look like a creepy tree over there. So I did three of these, and I have been on Etsy since 2016 with another um, Etsy shop, and quite successful. And I'm not doing that particular thing anymore. So, I have opened up another one. It's going to be under Black Whisper Crafts, just, just for the fun of it. I have so many things I want to make, and I want to just go ahead and put them on there and just see how that goes, see how a crafting shop goes. We'll see. But anyway, enough about that. This is what I'm all about today is the stamp play. It's so absolutely fun. I love to use stamps, and you can just build and build and build until you make a whole scene like this. It looks like you really did um, a whole lot of things and all you did was layer up your stamps, but that looks really creepy, creepy. There's the front side and then there is the back. So cool, just love it. And an ink around it and I use the black soot and the ground espresso. Those are really cool. And then this is the other postcard. These three, uh, there's two of them that are exactly alike, and then that one's a little bit different, but I did the stamping pretty much the same. Did the two little corner pieces. There are little thorns and roses. There's the little cauldron, and there's the little bitty spider web. And just inked all around. And this one, the postcard, and that, that was already on the postcard. But then you turn it over, and there's the creepy sentiment. And I just did the purple roses in the middle. Looks like that somebody received a creepy bunch of roses. And these two are one direction 
just one the same direction the correct direction if you were reading it and this one I did I stamped it and then I turned it upside down and stamped it just to see how I would like it and I think I liked it better just all one way but this is another way you can do it stamp your uh, sentiments upside down and right side up just adds a little creepiness to it that one's really cute and then I did this one here's the postcard side and I just did the uh, spider web and harlequin and just inked it up then you turn it let's see wait a minute you turn it let's see this way use my left hand turn it this way and the other side I just did the eternal block the creepy skull and inked around that's really cool it already had the um, script on it so there's that one these are so fun so very fun 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 definitely stamp play and this is the postcard side. I just did the vintage roses there and I did the two corner pieces there of the roses. And then you turn it over and there's the creepy house. And there's some creepy roses crawling down there to choke somebody out. <laughs> that was terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> Too much of an imagination. And I did two little trees there. There's the music. And then there's the creepy skull that's gonna creep into that haunted house. Those are really cute. Creepy cute. And you can do the layering stamping with anything, absolutely anything. And this is the postcard. This one, for some reason, I round cornered it. I don't know. Maybe there was a jagged edge or something, who knows? But this one, they're all three different postcards, but I did ink, stamp them up the same way. I did this one stamp that already has the spider on it, and then the beautiful roses there, and inked around. And then on the other side, yes, on the other side, I did the journal block, and just the little creepy tree and the feather, and just inked around. But these are all a little bit different, and this one had a pattern on this side of it. There was nowhere to write, so I glued some tea dyed paper and stamped the journal block on top. That's just, I did the same on both of these. They both had the tea dyed or coffee stain. I'm not sure which one. But yeah, a really fun project for hashtag Stamp Play, open collaboration hosted by Susan's Heartstrings, and I am Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful crafting day. Let me lay these out real quick for you before I go. And thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.